All right, guys, long time no see. It's been a while since we've had the cameras rolling, and uh, since our last episode, we have gained about 8,000 subscribers, so we're super excited about the response that we've been getting from you guys. Yeah, it's awesome, and uh, thank you. Hit that like and subscribe button right now, and what we're going to be doing in this episode is giving away a game called A-Holes. So if you go to tossboss.com, you can go ahead and check it out see what it is we'll talk about it in the episode as well but what you do to be entered in the drawing is to comment a holes in the comment section and this could get interesting <laughs> and if you have my name or this guy and a holes <laughs> in the same sentence you're disqualified <laughs> it just yes. has to be a holes <laughs> Yes, just actually every it doesn't matter. You just put a holes in there. We don't care whatever. Is, uh, yeah, then you're entered. <laughs> yes, so you put a holes in the comment this episode, and you have a chance to randomly be selected, and we'll mail it to your house. Woo, we got my buddy Mike Rivard out here. He's gonna do a little mowing for us. Uh, he's running this fast machine, and I'm not gonna stand behind it. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I guess you're gonna have to see it. Alright guys, so we got my buddy here, Mike Rivard, probably the, one of the smartest men alive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, so he's a, been a friend of mine for like 20 plus years. Um, I started doing glass work for him back in the day and uh, just blossomed into a, a friendship. And I've never seen someone that's invented so many things over the years. It's like every other month, Mike has something else that he's invented. So he's got this game called A-Holes and we'll, we'll show you what that is, it's pretty awesome. So if you guys are into to throwing games, definitely check this out and uh, go check his website out. But uh, today, Mike is here to do some mowing and he's running a badass machine. That... Now, do you use this quite often for uh, we clearing use it for stuff? mostly land clearing projects if we're clearing for new house home sites, development, septic systems, people doing trails through the woods, that kind of stuff, a little bit of a little bit of everything. You know, if it's smaller trees, like trees that are under six to 12 inch, it'll pretty much drive over them and just shred them and mulch them right in place. Nice. And then you clear it out with a bobcat to kind of level out anything then too? Yeah, after we're done with the brush mowing, then usually it's pretty much ready to go. They can pretty much use the site. You can almost take a, a lawnmower through it after we're done. If we go over it a couple times and mow it down, you can literally start mowing it with a lawnmower after that. There might be a few twigs and sticks here and there you gotta pick up a little bit of bigger stuff but other than that it's pretty much ready to go awesome i wish i could show you some videos that i wish this guy would carry a camera with him because as far as people who are absolutely batshit crazy nuts yeah <laughs> i think we should mow that shed more on video <laughs> so then uh because he wants to get rid of that thing anyways i mean we, let's just, let's you just, could let's just, just mulch it up why are you talking into this when Come on, once the camera's on? It'd be really on. cool. It'd be really cool. I mean, if you're scared, it's no big deal. I understand. Well, so you got the toilet <laughs> out of there, right? You got the toilet out of there, right? Well, I might want to use that. That's really nice wood. I might have. I might really? make something out of it. I might what make the, something what real would nice you do out with of it. that. Seriously, come and take a look at that. Yeah. yeah. But what about that metal on the top? You can't. It'll mulch it. It'll mulch the whole thing. <laughs> down. A tiny little pile of nothing left. But then there'll be nails all over. Dirt on here and this site I, don't want, I don't want nails. So I'm I'm much more of a wimp than he is. Oh, yeah. This is the guy that we're just gonna mortify. Like a 
You can't trust Mike. <laughs> you can't trust him at all. He, <laughs> He's lots of fun. He sees something and he wants to mow it down. <laughs> Only about 7,000 nails all over the yard now. So yeah, you guys have met Sam. Sam works for uh, Northern Hideaway Homes. Mm -hmm. oh, Sam help with the door installation. Of, doors and windows. Yep, doors and windows and everything. So he's gonna be living with us on our property and he's gonna be buying our camper. So we'll have him around for the summer. So we might be seeing him on camera and uh, helping out with him. Odds and ends, but otherwise they'll just be uh, kind of a land roommate. <laughs> Chasing a chicken out of the house. Zoe. Zoe. So what happens when you live in a garage when you want a little sun to come in chickens join in too like oh might find a cheerio or something on the floor we have to do something to stop this water problem and i don't know if this is going to quite show up on camera but you might see where it's a little darker in some certain spots coming down here from this window there's a streak right there there's actually one right here. And we have got, since our rubber roof just comes right over the edge and is basically screwed to the side of the house, that water is coming off the top and rolling straight down this Tyvek, the house wrap. That house wrap is supposed to keep water and moisture out but yet be able to breathe but when you're dumping that much down the side of the house um, you know all them little holes where the staples are and this and that it's penetrating this but you can actually see or feel uh, you can see it if maybe I don't know where this actually is warping the plywood that's behind it and it's actually warping it quite a bit so nerve-wracking um, this isn't a, a costly fix we've got oh three pieces of gutter on this side so three 16 footers on this side three on the other side um, and basically what we're gonna do is that's gonna give me an extra like five feet off the end so basically we're just gonna put the gutter underneath the edge of that rubber screw it to the house just for temporary to keep that from coming down the house it's going to shoot it out the end um, and then we've also got some uh, issues over here where it's coming in through the wall because there's so much coming down getting underneath the tyvek that it's actually coming in the house over here so we need some flashing we need some drip caps on the windows but there's a few things that we need to do and tomorrow we're gonna get the gutters put on and get that from hopefully leaking anymore, cut down all of our leaks until we get our siding put on. The other big bear that we've got uh, is this 16 foot wide patio door that you can see here. Here's the two halves. Here's the two sliders for it. As you can see, one here and one here. Now we've gotten all of these parts for installing this and these installation kits as you can see here here's one package here's another package of screws this is our installation kit and we've we got this jam molding that is for the left side and right side of the opening well i didn't realize it but there needs to be another one of those for the bottom and there needs to be one that goes across the top and when you splice this thing together that's what you got to screw in there which keeps this thing rigid during the installation and after the installation so hoo -hoo, look what we got here we got some frames guys these are all of our these are our nine window frames actually 12 i think including these 
here these are these all go together but there's a total of nine window openings here that that these go in and so we're getting ready to install those so we can have everything closed up in this house i am ready to uh find a big enough bulldozer has put it in gear send it towards this house get rid of a few of my headaches show you what we got going on here put these gutters up this weekend as you can see boo -doo. there's a gutter sticking out coming down pretty free hard because you might be able to see all of that wood is wet behind that Tyvek there ain't supposed to be water behind there so trying to figure out how to get the water to stop coming in the house and getting behind the Tyvek, the siding, and just an, it's an absolute nightmare. Um, because the longer, the longer this happens, the longer stuff is getting soaked behind there, uh, the more damage we're gonna do to the wood, which means, yeah, means, which means we're gonna end up having to replace some plywood some sheeting and that does not sound like fun that means the tie vet comes off one step forward and four steps back and i don't know I suppose if this process was easy everyone would do it but all right we've got nhh roofing plus out again our friends to help us out we finally get to have the back door and i am so excited to see this uh it's beautiful when we saw it at bmo the builder's material outlet when we had purchased it last spring hello good how are you good, good. uh oh, sam with you guys sam, then too sam, yeah? yeah cool Morning, stranger. Morning. Good. Good. How are you? Good. So, do we finally have all the parts now? I believe we do. <laughs> I believe we do. Yeah. I mean, we. This was just kind of a finicky spot here, so I got to put this little piece to shim it out right here to get this flat and flush. Gotcha. Um. So, just gotta manipulate that a little bit, and then we'll mount this, and yeah, we'll be on our way. Good to go. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. I probably don't want foam right there, huh? Yeah, you know. That was there before? What's that? The foam? Well, yeah, and see the door rests on it a little bit, so you didn't want the door weight to be on the, yeah. the foam, so we got solid board now. Nice. Yeah. Wonderful. Great. And it'll look good, too, when the patio is up against it. You can just paint this or do whatever you want to do with it. So yeah. Nice. What are these for? Just work some Oopsies. There. Those are for the re rod. Just to check to make sure we had re rod in there. So, yep, it's re rod all the way. Is there a rebar? <laughs> Is there really? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. through the car. Yeah, once you go in about that far, you hit it. Freaking re rod, boom, boom, boom. So, so you know what these will create for me is a perfect hole to put my free foam in. Right? I knew you guys were thinking of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to spray foam behind this so that I have like a little thermal break. Yep. And so. Those will create perfect holes to do that. Heck yeah. We got ladders ready. Yep. Right? Yep, we should be ladder. So I think everyone, all of us should be on. Just don't start it until Greg gets too cold on the box. Greg, you got a cat spawn on you? So you can move it if you need yeah. to? Uh, yeah, I got it. I'll okay. take it. Right. Here, I'm like a warmer, geez. Just tell me to shut up. This <laughs> is natural for you. Oh, I, I'm excited, man. I'm waiting for the door. Wait, what? 
Okay, hold up. It's got to come out a little bit. Yep. Okay. I'm good on this end. We're good. We're good there. Okay. I got to come out a little more. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Yep. Half inch. Beautiful. Huh? Are we going in? It's going. Hey, no stopping the rope. Yep. Look at that no. sucker. That sucker's huge. Oh, what? Is that right, huh? Better. That's a little bit better. I got. I was, I was pulling it down. Uh, I want this, Sam. Is that good? Yeah, <laughs>